Hello folks and welcome to the Great Outdoors RV Company. My name is Tom and today we're going to be talking about the brand new 2018 2109. The 2109 has been an awesome floor plan for us here at the Great Outdoors. It's one of our popular and it's just getting better, folks. The, the brand new 2018s and the later models, they're actually gonna come with a Wi-Fi booster on them. They're gonna come with this new polished front cap uh, with the automotive grade front windshield. And it's also gonna present the new graphite colors in the interior uh, along with the maple wood. And it's also gonna come with a lighter color of the wood look floor. Um, super cool floor plan. I like the colors that they, they've come out with this year and I can't wait to show this one to you. The question I get uh, asked all the time is Tom why a Rockwood and you know it's really such a simple uh, question to answer because if you are looking for quality the Rockwood is definitely the coach that you want to go with and the reason for that is because it's got an all aluminum substructure it's vacuum bonded on all four sidewalls including the roof and it's got a 10-year axle warranty so quality in the Rockwood is what you're gonna be getting they don't skimp anywhere in this particular coach and that's why you want to buy the Rockwood Another popular question I get asked all the time is, Tom, can my vehicle tow this vehicle? Well, all of these are gonna come stamped with a dry weight, and on this particular coach, the dry weight is 4,237 pounds, and the fully loaded weight, and that's with your water, all of your food, clothing, and everything on board, you're gonna to top out at 5,726 pounds. So definitely SUV towable, definitely half ton uh, towable as well, but you'll definitely wanna check your vehicle specs and make sure that you can tow this guy. So we're gonna start on the passenger side of the coach, on the back side, and this coach, there's so many features on this particular coach. I always like to start with the awning in particular, and the reason that I like to do that is because this particular awning is, is obviously, it's, it's electric, but it comes with these adjustable elbows, and these adjustable elbows allow you to slope the, uh, the, the canvas on here so that if it starts to rain or it starts to snow or something like that, you can definitely shoo it off in one way, uh, one direction or the other. It's also great, so if you're sitting out here and the sun's coming down, you can pitch this guy as well to block that sun from you. So having these adjustable arms on here, I think are a huge hit with this particular coach. So the 2109's got a large grab handle. It's got a two-step up into the coach. One of the benefits and features on this coach that I like to point out too is that this is a friction door hinge. Okay, and what that means to you is that you can kind of position this door any way that you want to. It's rated up to about 20 miles an hour. So it's, it's very hard to slam latch closed, okay? And that's part of the benefit of the of this, uh, friction door hinge on this coach. Also what you're gonna see is the frameless windows. These are cut directly and matched specifically to the coach. They are better insulated. They're not gonna wear over time. As you'll see some coaches with the rubber gommets on the outside. We've talked about, several, uh, we've talked about these all the time in my videos that I do. You're gonna get two marine grade outside speakers. And one of the things I wanted to point out too is the torsion flex suspension system. So each tire is basically independent of itself. It's gonna give you a smoother ride. It's not gonna knock things around in your camper like a leaf spring coach would. It comes from the factory with nitrogen filled tires. Nitrogen will help maintain the PSI a little bit better for you and will also reduce a lot less wear on the tires. As we're coming down here, there's a lot of cool features coming up here in the center of the coach. Number one is you can bring the TV. Now you're gonna get a TV with this coach, but you can bring the TV from the inside Side, out to the out here and put it on this little bracket and you're also gonna get like a little prep station here for cooking so if you like to fish or a game or whatever you can go ahead and prep your meals and then you can go ahead and cook it on your on your grill out here but you'll have a, a 110 power outlet a coaxial cable 
So you can have your great barbecue going, you can watch some TV, uh, or you can listen to some music uh, all out here on your front patio area here. So this particular coach now it comes with a Wi-Fi booster. I mentioned that in my intro. And what this little guy is gonna do for you is say for instance you're at, for example, KOA or another campsite that offers Wi-Fi. But you are, you happen to get like the farthest um, campsite away from maybe like a bathhouse or the office or something like that. And they offer um, Wi-Fi, but you're not gonna get a strong signal on your, on your phone. So you can turn your little Wi-Fi booster on, that'll bring the signal into your coach and that's gonna give you a stronger signal. It comes with a password and everything else. It's a kind of a cool little thing, especially if you work from home or you can work in, on your travels or just browsing the internet, whatever is gonna work for you. Me personally, I don't know. I think the phone's gonna go in the, in the cabinet and I'm not gonna worry about it, but this is a great benefit to have on this coach. If you're looking for storage, the 2109 has plenty of it, folks. If you look up underneath here, under the pass-through storage, you can see the, the amount of space that you have in here. And this is some of the uh, aluminum construction that Rockwood's gonna offer you. You know it's gonna, it's gonna be double welded on each side of these brackets. There's absolutely no wood in here that's gonna, be, uh, uh, that's gonna support you on here. It's all aluminum. And even on the roof is gonna be aluminum too. And it's a fully walkable roof. So that's why you definitely wanna buy a Rockwood. And I wanna talk to you about a little bit about the vacuum bonding process and as far as how that works. Because to the consumer, just looking at a fiberglass unit, it may look all the same, but it relatively is not. So 75% of campers that are built with fiberglass is basically a standard pinch roll. And what that means to you is they're just gluing the fiberglass onto the inside of the Luon and they're pushing it through a pinch press and they're hoping that that glue uh, stays adhered to that inner and outer wall. Vacuum bonding takes it a step further. It's very expensive to do at the factories. And I've been there, I've been able to watch these Rockwoods being built. It's a fascinating process. But basically what they do is they put this guy on a vacuum press. That vacuum airbag press, it eliminates those air pockets between that inner and outer wall, causing a uh, tighter bond. So this guy is 10 times less likely for it to delaminate over time than a standard pinch roll fiberglass unit would. One of the cool features that Rockwood also likes to add to their coaches is a solar ready plug. Now this is a plug and play adapter. I do sell the panels in my store. And I like this particular system just for the fact that you can plug it in, you can move it away from your coach, you can get maximum exposure from the sun because as we all know, when we go out and we like to go camping, the big thing is that we like to find is a big shade tree to park underneath. Well, if your solar panels are on your shade trees or under your shade trees, you may not be getting the maximum use out of that system. Putting this right here and being able to move it away from the coach and directing it um, is probably gonna be a little bit more beneficial to you. So I like having that solar on the plug on the side, of course, but of course it's a personal opinion. As we go around here to the front cap, you'll notice this is a brand new style from Rockwood on the Mini Light, folks. Okay, this is a brand new front cap that they're introducing. Again, this is on the newer 2018s. You'll get the diamond plate down here to help with rock chips. You'll get a power tongue jack here with a nice little docking light. So if you have to unhook or hook up at night, you have that little light to assist you along with the little side light over here. And then this particular coach is gonna come with 230 LP bottles on board. So this is definitely going to, you know, 30 LP bottles, normally the standard is 20, uh, two 20 pounders, but here on the 30 pounders, definitely give you more life on your propane for sure. Back here you have your, this is where your batteries are gonna sit. And then back here as well, you're also gonna get a battery disconnect, which is right back here. I don't know if you can get that Octavio or not. But the battery disconnect is a great little feature to have on your coach. You turn that little guy off and you can make sure that all of your power in the coach is gonna be turned off because believe it or not, your LP sensor is gonna be running regardless of whether your lights are on or not. One of the things that Rockwood's doing on their mini lights too, on some of their models, is they're gonna be going with these magnetic holders right here. So when you open up the door, that magnet is gonna hold it open for you. No more plastic clippies that you have to worry about on this little guy uh, that can weather and break off. And then right above this door is you're gonna have your city water connection, your port potable water, which is basically your canteen, and your anti antifreeze inlet uh, to winterize your camper. Right over here on the right of the door, you're going to have your six gallon direct spark ignition, both gas and electric options on this little guy. 
So all you have to do is go in and flip a switch. There's nothing that you have to come out here and light or anything like that. It takes care of it all for you internally. And then this is going to be another access door and this is going to be right behind your couch in this particular coach. Now in here I do have the, the dinette table that's behind here and I'll show you how to set that up. But you're going to have some nice storage up underneath this area as well. And then back here you're going to get an outside shower, both hot and cold water features. You're going to get a black tank flush, your cable and your satellite hookups are right here and your 30 amp service is going to be located back here as well. Your dump valves are going to be located back here and then of course when we get to the back side you're going to notice that you're going to have an, uh, a ladder to get onto your roof. Now you can go up there and do all of your own maintenance. This is a fully walkable roof. That's why they provide that ladder for you. You can go up there, check all your uh, all your sealants up there, make sure everything's looking good. And of course you're going to have a pre-wire for a backup camera on this particular coach as well. It's a plug and play. They put that on all the Rockwoods for the most part. So if you want to buy the camera, you can just hook it up and you're good to go. And then you'll get, also get a spare tire with a cover on here as well. All right, let's go inside and I'll show you some features in there. Well, welcome inside the 2109. As you can see, this is a pretty spacious open floor plan that we have here. I'm just gonna start on the back side of the coach just because I think it's gonna be a little bit more user friendly as far as starting back here and kind of showing you the camper in its entirety. But one of the things I wanted to point out that I like about this coach is this pantry area. Now, what's great about this is you can actually remove these shelves. And what this is gonna allow you to do is if you don't want, if you don't have to put all your pantry items in here, it's also going to give you an extra hanging space for clothes and, uh, you know, shirts and pants or whatever. So having these removable shelves in here are awesome. I also option this Dometic refrigerator with the panels, the wood look panels on here. This is a gas and electric six cubic foot refrigerator. Very spacious on the inside. Down here is going to be your converter, and this is going to be your LP detector. So if you have a gas leak in here or something like that, that will always continue to run, folks, unless you disconnect the battery, or like I mentioned on the outside, turn that battery disconnect off. We're going to come into the bathroom, and as you notice, you're going to have the radius shower with the glass doors, of course. I got plenty of room to maneuver around in here. You got the Dometic foot flush toilet. You have overhead a mirror with uh, with cabinets. You have the sink down here, place for your soap, toothbrushes. You have a GFI breaker in here too, so people with uh, electric shavers or curling irons or blow dryers, you got some cabinet space up underneath here. And then let's not forget the big linen closet that you're gonna get behind the toilet as well. Now you're also gonna have a max air fan that's in here as well. Now this will give you a nice breeze through the coach. You open up the windows, it'll help eliminate having to use the air conditioner all the time, especially if you're on the mountains. If you want a nice breeze coming through in here, you turn this little guy on, open up the windows, and that'll draw a nice breeze coming through here. One of the things I get asked all the time is, Tom, there's a big gap up in here between the door. Folks, this is designed this way so that the airflow can come in and out of that bathroom as it's supposed to. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna change this door out. You wanna leave it just as it is. Now, here's the couch area. Now, this is on a slide out, folks. Okay, it's on about a two and a half, three foot slide out. And you, as you can see, the cabinets in here are just, these are beautiful cabinets, folks. This is the maple uh, look wood in here. I do, they do, it also comes in a driftwood color too, which is a, it's a little bit of a darker color, but real cabinets, residential grade type style. And then behind the couch, you're going to get this, you're going to get a little table here. And what I like about this table, if I can get this Velcro done on it. There we go. Is you can take this, take it outside if you don't, if you want to. You can set it up. And then you can sit right back here. Now your TV is going to be over here so you can have a dinner, um, watch some TV if you'd like. But having this maneuverable table is really cool in my opinion. What's also nice is that this couch will also lay flat. 
So if you do have somebody that's gonna be staying the night for you, you know, they can they can go ahead and lay on this couch. Now I'm a bigger guy, but you know, probably some kids or something can, uh, can lay on here for a night or two and be comfortable. Move this table out of the way. And then the bed area here, obviously you're gonna get some cabinets on each side. Now you have a wardrobe space on each cabinet. You're gonna have some overhead cabinet space up here as well. This mattress is heated. You gotta be plugged into 110 power to operate that feature, but you plug it in right at the head of the bed, turn that on a dial one through six to adjust your temperature. But on each side of the bed as well, especially, well on this side anyway, you're gonna have a 110 power outlet and then you're gonna have some 12 volt power outlets as well. So if you wanna plug in your cell phone, you can definitely do that over there. And over on this side, you're gonna have an additional drawer, okay? So great bedroom space. And then of course, obviously, since if you do have some guests on the couch, what's great about this little guy is you can give yourself some privacy and you can close this curtain off here. And then this just Velcros in like this. So you can give yourself some privacy. You have some guests that are gonna stay with you. So a lot of people like this feature in this coach. One of the features that I truly think is a huge thing and a lot of people don't realize it is actually on this particular coach, it, you're gonna have a double ducted or like some people call it a racetrack type vents for your air conditioning unit. On a lot of my competition, you're only gonna have one vent that's gonna go vertical down the coach. Here, you're, it's double ducted, okay? So you're gonna be able to get some vents all the way through the roof, and that's gonna maximize your air efficiency, keeping you cool in here. Now, we talk about vacuum bonded, right? So there's not too many coaches that you can go around on it and just kind of beat the ceiling and not put a hole in, okay? Uh, so that's one of the benefits that you're gonna get from a Rockwood with that vacuum bonded substructure, okay? This is gonna be your HD television antenna. So there's no more, is there any hand cranking or anything like that to do. All you have to do is turn this little guy for local TV, depending on where you're at, if they provide local TV, to get your reception on your TV. Speaking of TVs, this is a Furion TV, okay? And this is designed actually for RVs so that they, you know, when you're pulling this little guy down the road, it can rattle and it's not gonna break or anything like that. This is gonna be your IRB technologies, uh, DVD, CD player, radio capabilities. You got your three zones of speakers. Uh, zone three will be outside. One and two are gonna be in here. And then here is your switch for your Wi-Fi booster. You just turn this little guy on and it'll go to your phone and then you just type in the password and that will bring that, uh, that range back into your coach. You're also gonna have an extended countertop on here as well. Now this is a beautiful kitchen guys for a coach this size. Notice that you're gonna have a little knife holder back here too. So you can put your cutlery back in here. And then you're gonna have a suburban cooktop. Now they do come with a glass partition on here and this is important for you because this is gonna give you that extra counter space. So if you wanna make sandwiches on here, you can. But then when you go to use the three burner, you just raise this up. This acts as your backsplash, you're not getting it back here on your blinds. And this is super easy to clean off as well. And then it's gonna come with the nice gas oven. Plenty of drawers in this guy. So you can put all your silverware in here. Look at all the cabinets that you have up in here. I mean, you can load this little guy up, You've got plenty of space. Microwave is located right here. It's a Magic Chef microwave. And then of course, you're gonna get the two bowl sink hot and cold water features as well. You can use this as a cutting board if you'd like. You have another drawer here, two big pull-out drawers here. So as you can see, there's a lot of cabinet space in here. It's beautifully done. You got the nice hardware on here, all residential type uh, material folks. They do not skim anywhere on the Rockwoods. And then of course, back here is gonna be your instrument panel. 
Now your instrument panel is basically going to be one of the things I want to mention is your tank heaters. So your tank heaters are basically on all tanks. Now this particular coach is rated to minus 11 degrees. You turn this little guy on and it'll help from your tanks freezing up if you're out there in the winter. Your gas and electric switches are right here for your water heater, your water pump, and then all of your lights are going to be located right here as well. Your awning slide out and your, your uh, slide out for the couch are going to be located right here as well. And then of course, on here, it's going to give you a little monitoring panel as far as your battery power, your fresh, black, and your gray, and it's going to tell you all when you need to dump those, uh, those tanks. So awesome coach folks, you really need to come and check this one out. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining me on the 2109 2018. Can't wait to show this one to you. Please give me a call with any questions at 970 313 4337. Or if you want to shout me out an email, Tom at the Gray Outdoors RV.com. And I can't wait to see you here soon.